They said, who do you want to sing with you? We'd love you to do a duet. And I remember, well, Pink was on the list, and I also remember uh, a couple months previous, I'd met her at Ellen DeGeneres' 50th birthday party. And uh, she had just gone to Coachella and saw Prince sing Angel, which I still can't find. I wish I could find it. I would love to ha have that copy of that. But, um, and she said she was up on the top of her tour bus singing every word. And I thought, oh, well, you know what? I love your voice. And what do you think? And she was game. And I, you know, it, it was a great collaboration. She's a fantastic singer. And I thought it was a really interesting juxtaposition because I'm sort of, my voice is kind of soft and mellow. And she's a little more ballsy and has some good grit to it. And it just worked out. It's really nice together. Um, I'm promoting a, a greatest hits right now called Closer, the best of Sarah McLaughlin. And I'm going to do that to Christmas and then in January, I'm going to go into the studio and starting a new record. Well, you know, listen, I turned 40 last year and I thought I gotta get my ass in shape. So I, I did the thing that you do. I hire a trainer and I, I go, you know, I make an appointment. That's the only way I'll work out. And I show up three times a week and I do yoga pretty much every day. And, you know, I'm, I'm just really active. I walk a lot, I surf whenever I can. Fall off the wagon. I have two little ones. I have a six and a half year old and a 17 month old. It sure slowed things down because, you know, I have two little ones to run after and I chose to have children a little later in life. I was 34 when I started, which is not that late anymore, but um, I got my career really to a great place where I could sort of step away, be a full-time mom and be able to sort of keep my foot in the water musically. And I, I really feel like I've got the best of both worlds because I'm, I'm there with him all the time and then I get to come and do crazy things like this and then go home and just get right back into the carpooling. I don't have a clue who I'm wearing. <laughs> I phoned my girlfriend, who is the fashion maven in Vancouver, Charlene, and I, uh, on Thursday afternoon, I said, I'm going to the AMAs. I completely forgot. I have nothing to wear. And so I went over to her closet. She said, just take whatever you want. And I found this. And this necklace is mine, and it just goes with it perfectly. So, no, it's not.